so a question was asked, if you just give me a second. And in fact, do you want to say your question again? Sure. So I was just saying, so for example, if your friend, you go with your friend and then you're given the first choice and you choose steak instead of, and you choose steak and then your friend decides to choose steak as well. But when he's presented with the choice of having frog's legs, he says, no, actually, I'll choose the fish. So in that case, what's the, how do you order it? So why is it, I think what you're saying is that if my choice is influenced by my friend's choice. Yeah. So I choose one thing, I see he's choosing something else and I change. Yeah. Or I choose one thing, I see he's choosing the same thing and I change because I want to be different. Yeah. Right? I think the, you know, the way to model that would be not to think of those as the same consumption, as the same element of the choice set. I would see those as distinct elements. So, so even, even disregarding the information issue, even if there was complete information over the quality of the steak and the frog's legs, if your, if your friend is consuming one of them, then that might change the good itself. It might change my enjoyment of it itself. So then I would model that as an additional set of choices. One would be steak when my friend is consuming steak, frog's legs when my friend is consuming steak, steak when my friend is consuming frog's legs, whatever's left. And then I would, you'd want to order the preferences over those. That would be, I think, a better way of modeling it. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the question. Thank you. 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 Thank you.